But like, you oh, know what? Instead of train. instead of train or plane, sometimes I just prefer to ride a bicycle. Welcome back to Chatterbox. As you can see, it's just the three of us today. So let me straight off. Let me introduce the team. Let me first introduce Sean. How are you doing, man? Yo, what's going on? I'm good, man. What are you saying? Hey, can't complain. Well, I can complain, but I ain't gonna complain. Oh, today. don't bother stop <laughs> you. Come on. <laughs> and we have RV. How are you doing, man? Hey, hey guys, man. I'm all good. I'm all good. Looking forward to this one. What we got in store for today? Ooh, today we have a stand-up. I literally have never heard of this guy. Somebody recommended mm. it. And as usually when a subscriber recommends something, it goes into our list and sooner or later we're going to react to it. So it's why trains are better than airplanes. What mm. kind of train is he talking about? But hey, so <laughs> why train? train? <laughs> yeah, it must be the bullet train. And why trains are better than airplanes? The comedian is Rahul Jua, stand up comedy part one. I don't know if you've heard of Rahul Jua. I no. have no clue about him. So, never hey, heard of him, P. Let's check him out. Let's see if he's funny. I, I want to laugh because they said laughter. What do they say about laughter? It's the best medicine. Hmm. So, let's check it out. That's a long disclaimer. Oh, by the way, um, I almost forgot to tell you. Uh, the show almost got cancelled again. Because airports, I'll tell you. Though, uh, I am double vaccinated, okay? I have vaccination certificate also. Okay? I said, okay? So, I'm going to go to the airport. I said, I'll stop a little bit. Then, I said, I'll go is it me or does he look like the Indian Bruno Fernandez? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Probably the bird. Scan QR code. <laughs> Sir, RTPCR. <laughs> verified account on Instagram. Multiple sold out shows pan India, ma'am. YouTube, oh ho. Sir, <laughs> I am going to take RT-PCR now, in 10 minutes. Huh? How? I said, ma'am, Photoshop. I said, look, I have told you all about my vaccination certificate. Everything is there. I will tell you all about this, I will Photoshop. You tell me if you will know or not. Sir, look, I mean, you will go. Let's go, you will go. But please, don't tell anyone. God promise. But have you guys noticed how these airports and all of these flights are so overrated? Trains are the best, absolute best mode of transport. Ek to sasti hai. Delhi Bombay one way flight, 5,000 rupees. Delhi Bombay one way train, 2,500 rupees, half price. Beautiful. Secondly, trains are a complete package. Flight me aapko panjar me kya milta hai? Do gante. Train me patti so me so long. Full entertainment. You get khana, chai, judgmental looks, everything. This is beautiful package. Full package. 
एंड फ्लाइट आर सो इनकनवीनियंट दस बजे की फ्लाइट उसके लिए एक घंटा पहले पहुंचो नहीं क्यों नहीं वहां जाके सीट रोकनी क्यों मैंने पांच हजार रुपए दिया फ्लाइट का एक दिन का मेरी स्कूल वैन का किराया था चार सौ रुपए एक महीने का वो हर घर से सुबह आ आ के बच्चा उठा के लेके जाती थी मैं तुझे पांच हजार रुपए दिए तू एक रात पहले पार्किंग में लाके जाच खड़ा कर फिर अच्छा अंदर पहुंचो तो फिर हो रही नहीं चेकिंग बहुत है इनके पास है वो बैगेज रिस्ट्रिक्शन है जी कार को बैगेज पंद्रह किलो जितनी सकता है किविन बैगेज सात किलो जितनी सकता है रेलवे स्टेशन में कोई रिस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं जनता पूरा पूरा टू बी एच करके चढ़ी ट्रेन में कुछ ट्रू स्टोरी वन ट्रेन जर्नी आई सॉ दिस फैमिली ऑफ फोर पीपल ओके फोर पीपल फाइव बैग्स टू बॉटल्स एंड अ बेड ईच लाउंज बना रखा कलो ने कैन यू टेक अ रैंडम गैस हाउ मेनी पीपल ऑब्जेक्टेड टू दो बेड इन द ट्रेन जीरो नन शून्य आर भट्टा जिंदाबाद नो बडी नो बडी नो बडी ऑब्जेक्टेड टू दो बेड इन द ट्रेन क्यों क्योंकि दस मिनट में आधी बोगी थी बेड पे सात लोगों की ताश की बारी चल रही बारह लोग ऑडियंस में बाजी देख रहे हैं दस मिनट में एक लड़का कैरम बोर्ड और गीटियां ले आया वाह वाह क्या बात ब्यूटीफुल कोई मुझे बता दो अगर अगले स्टेशन पे कोई बात फिटिंग कोई जकूजी कोई सोना अगर कोई वॉच वॉच मैं दो बैग लेके आया था मुझे लगा सामान ज्यादा हो गया वो इतना सामान देखे मुझे आउट ऑफ प्लेस फील हो रहा फिर मैंने भी अपना बैग खोला कुत्ता निकाल दिया मैं कर ले सर पाएगी Nothing like this you can ever imagine on an airport. Airport पे लगती सिर्फ लाइन नहीं पहले वो चेकिंग काउंटर लाइन पे लगो फिर सिक्योरिटी वाला सिक्योरिटी वाला तो उसको तुम्हारी जायदाद तक लाता पूरी तो लैपटॉप निकाल दो वॉलेट निकाल दो फोन निकाल दो बैट निकाल दो निकाल दो अंकल तो गालियां हैं वो निकाल दो नहीं नहीं आप पे नहीं हालात पे हैं गाली रेलवे स्टेशन पे कोई चेक कुछ नहीं पूरे स्टेशन पे एक स्कैनर लगा होता एक वो बंद होता है झूठी बोला मुझे पता वो बंद होता है क्योंकि मैंने उसमें जीता जागता कुत्ता स्कैन कराया है अच्छा फिर सिक्योरिटी क्रॉस करते हैं देन कम्स फ्लाइट का बेस्ट पार्ट द फ्लाइट स्टाफ ओह सो वेल बिहेव सो पोलाइट सो वेल मैनर्ड है ना सो लाइक एकदम तमीज की मूरत कि कभी कभी मुझे ऐसे लगता है कि हमेशा तो नहीं रहते होंगे ऐसे कभी ना कभी तो ये भी करते होंगे these guys in all fairness these are very well behaved like very well mannered very polite very gentle very warm over to in sab mein se na dur se dekh ke wo wala flight stop pata lag jata hai jo notice period pe ki jo to nahi hai to lagi hui ki hi sir evening so sorry for side can i get some orange juice let me personally call marshal chaat chaat aap aaiye sir aap aaiye like she is like going that extra step right she is taking the extra step पर जो तो है नोटिस पीरियड पे उसने कुल मिला के दिया हुआ जीरो फॉर वो एरोब्रिज से लगी चिल्लाने की चलो भी चलो चलो इसको उड़ा के भी लेके जाना घर जाके नहीं मन चलो इतना बड़ा बैग ट्रेन में चलो अच्छा ओ एक सेकंड अगर आपकी सीट हो गई वो इमरजेंसी एग्जिट वाली तो आपके कंधे पे लाद जिम्मेवारियों का बोझ अभी नहीं सिचुएशन आर यू विलिंग टू असिस्ट अस इन केस ऑफ एन इमरजेंसी बहन मेरा म्यूचुअल फंड में बहुत नुकसान हुआ मैं अपने पैसे नहीं बचा पाया बेगानी जिंदगी तो नहीं बचा पाया पर आसपास सभी लोग कह रहे थे कि या या ऑफ कोर्स Comfortable in English also. 
तो बंदा पीयर प्रेशर में आके कह देता कि यस यस आई 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 चक फटे आई बताओ क्या करो <laughs> वो दरवाजा वो खुलने के लिए बना ही नहीं वो पचास किलो का जानवर वो कह रहे सर ओपन दिस डोर ओनली इन केस ऑफ एन इमरजेंसी मैं मेरी हॉबी नहीं है मैं जा जाके जहाज में दरवाजे खोल रहा हूं हवा आ जाए थोड़ी सी अंदर उसकी इंस्ट्रक्शन इतनी मुश्किल है कि सर इन ऑर्डर ओपन स्टोर पुल द फ्लैग प्लेस इट अंडर सीट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू pull the handle immediately slide it automatically <laughs> just in case it doesn't happen pull the manual handle immediately slide it automatically <laughs> just in case it doesn't happen read the safety instruction manual or <laughs> or aur mushkil kar do na nahi kar do ek kaam karo cat ka sawal dal dal do ki two boys ram and sham rotating the circle time and how many times they meet dal <laughs> नहीं तो फिर जो बचेगा वो डिजर्व करता है बचना ये कह रहे वो मुझसे दरवाजा नहीं खुलना मेरे पीछे एक सौ सत्ताईस लोग खड़े हो आंटी बोली मरूंगी इस लॉन्डे की मैंने मैं मैं क्या क्या ये कर दो वो कर दो इमरजेंसी का टाइम ये कर दो वो कर दो लॉन्डे कुंडी लगाओ ना कुंडी की भी लग रही इनसे कुंडी जाए बाहर। ये दरवाजा तो वो वाला होना चाहिए अच्छा फिर वो जो जो इन्होंने इस इमरजेंसी वाली स्क्रिप्ट का जो मारा तो रट्टा जो घोट के पी होती है सर दिस इज ओपन दिस ऐसा रट्टा मारा था आप बकचोदी करने के चक्कर में एक बार बस इतना सा कर दो क्या इनकी ना तितर बितर होती बिल्कुल क्या क्या बहुत बहुत फिर ये शुरू शुरू कर लेते तो बीच में से उनको भी नहीं आता अच्छा फिर अच्छा फिर ये जहाज में बिठा देंगे नहीं पच्चीस मिनट पहले बोर्डिंग गेट क्लोजिंग पच्चीस बिठा दिया पच्चीस मिनट पहले बिठा दिया ठीक है और बिठा के क्या कराते हैं बेल्ट पहनना सिखाते मेरे को वाह अभी लोगों की जिंदगियों की कमान पकड़ाई तुमने हमारे हाथ ये नाड़े रूपी बेल्ट का करना क्या है तो और आप सोच रहे हो ये बेल्ट हमारी सुरक्षा कैसे कर सकती है गाड़ी वाली समझ में आता है वो यहां बनती यहां बनती है ये वाली थाली बनती यहां ये हमारी सुरक्षा तभी कर सकती है जब जहाज में टर्बुलेंस आए ऐसे गलत बात तो नहीं बोली अच्छा फिर जहाज उड़ गया ठीक है इन्होंने अपना सारा कर लिया कि सर नकाब यहां से नली हवा पूछ पूछ पूरा सारा सारा कर लिया ठीक है जहाज उड़ गया रात की ढाई फ्लाइट है बंदा कैसे लोग तक लगा दी एक घंटा नहीं मिले ये पर आ जाएंगे पोहा खा लो चाय देखो टाइम में पोहा खाने गए पता कि गैस रही सुबह इतना काम कराते जहाज वाले कह रहे जी नकाब यहां से निकलेगा जैकेट यहां द्वार आगे द्वार मैं गांड फुटी में याद रहेगा मुझे तेरे जहाज में आग लगी मैं कुर्सी समेत चलांग मांग होनी चाहिए ये बगल वाली आंटी की साड़ी का पैराशूट बना के
ब्रेन में नहीं होता कुछ भी कुछ नहीं होता वहां हर चीज का एक इलाज है खत्म कहानी बाथरूम में को है इट इज सो इजी इट इज सो कन्वीनियंट टू ट्रेवल इन ट्रेन आपको क्या चाहिए ट्रेन ट्रेवल करने क्या चाहिए एक टिकट कुछ सामान और अपनी लो सेल्फ स्टीम वाली पर्सनैलिटी दैट्स ऑल यू नीड राइट बट द ट्रेन ट्रेवल बिकम सो मच मोर ब्यूटिफुल होलसम कंप्लीट फॉर ऑल दोज मेल पैसेंजर्स हुआ ट्रेवलिंग अलोन बिकॉज दे नीड समथिंग एल्स समथिंग दैट रिक्वायर इमेंस अमाउंट ऑफ करेज मेंटल स्ट्रेंथ एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग विल पावर दैट थिंग माई डिफर okay okay so did he convince you um when you say convince me do you mean about train and plane travel yeah <laughs> so which one I prefer cuz yeah. i would have to say well to give a bit of context i used to travel a lot for work so i used to travel around europe quite a lot and a lot of times when i was going from like city to city when i was in whatever country i was working in i would have the option to either travel by a train or by a plane and i found it that whenever i took a train for the convenience just like he was explaining there i then got annoyed because the train journey took so long so i started to always book a f- inland flight whenever possible if it got me close enough to my destination for the simple fact that i can board up to the airport once i've checked in I can sit down and read, go on my laptop, check on my phone or whatever. And then when I fly, it's like 30 minutes, 40 minutes max and then I'm there. And usually when you're checking out or leaving the airport on arrival, it's pretty quick. So for me, I prefer flying, especially when it's like um inland flights and stuff like that. I mean, come on, you guys must have done like a trip to Scotland before on the train or whatever. and you realize the difference in time that you have to spend sitting there for hours and hours and hours i don't know that's just my take on it other than that i mean for this actual stand up there were some funny moments um that i thought uh, that i enjoyed um but overall i didn't i was more listening to the context of what he was saying in relation to travel rather than getting as much humor from what he was saying I don't know maybe that's just me maybe you guys had a different outlook on it but I was really thinking about it when he, when I was listening to him rather than actually just sitting back and enjoying it because he's making me think so I don't know maybe that I'm not sure Yeah um I'm kind of in agreement with you uh Sean what I what I think of overall is that this comedian tells his perspective in a in a convincing way and in an engaging way because the audience seemed to be with him the whole time um the audience are sort of laughing at every punchline and so and I, th- and i think it's probably slightly more difficult for us because he's speaking in a different language so the punchline is probably funnier when he's doing little intonations and inflections here and there with the last sort of word and the punchline he's delivering where it's kind of we're relying on the subtitles to get what he's saying which yeah is not never going to be as funny is it um mm. so for me yeah, i i also agree like the, the the humor wasn't you know great for me it was a little bit funny here and there but um the other thing which i think also kind of makes our experience uh less sort of um relatable to his is that india is such a country where like you kind of have to go from one city to another by uh, train or car uh, by train or plane we can't take a car like we do in the uk to like if we wanted to go to manchester that's like you know 3 4 hours or whatever it is and i've done mm-hmm. the train from london to manchester as well and it's actually quicker you know we but mm-hmm. i mean obviously there are people that take a plane as well but i think that's probably the minority of people whereas india if you're going from one large city to another for example or one state to another those are your only real options you, you wouldn't really consider driving unless there was like a big group of you or something or because the roads mm. in india are just a, another you know another thing altogether basically and the the, the size of the country means that they kind of have to rely on planes and trains i guess but i i always mm. had this probably 
uh, misconception because it gets a bad rep that trains in India <clears throat> are best avoided because there's always this perception. I don't know if society has planted this into our heads or what, but we're always kind of taught from a young age that trains in India are either you know, because they're separated by like first class and you know all these different carriages. That if you you're not in the right train, you gotta hold your nose the whole way through. <laughs> that's, that's oh that's really? A, yeah, so I didn't even hear that, but. I, yeah. Uh, well, obviously, this guy's not uh, talked about it, but maybe he's, you know, he's he trained certain trains that he's been on are all right. But this is the this is the misconception, or maybe it's just the stereotype that we've been brought up on. But yeah, anyway, that's that was one of the things that I I was sort of uh, brought up and told, like, yeah, you got to be careful about which carriages you're going on if you're traveling on trains in India. Mm. But um, yeah, I, I think anytime I've been to India, I've only gone by sort of car and, and plane, so I guess I've never really had that experience. But again, mm -hmm. it, it kind of links to why our sort of perspective is going to be different from this comedian's from, uh, what's his name? Rahul Dua. Because mm -hmm. he's probably t telling it from a, a, a perspective of he's done several flights, you know, uh, from one place to another in India and probably several train journeys from one place to another. So our sort of understanding of it is going to be much more limited compared to his. Hence why I think I didn't find it as funny as probably I should have or could have if my sort of experience was you know a bit more um in sync with his mm. but my question to you though do you prefer to take the train rather than to fly somewhere that just just the straight down the middle question it, it, it does depend on the length of the journey of respective if, if, a, if a plane was going to take two hours and a train was going to take five hours um, it would then I would then make my decision based on the comfort of you know what what's that train like because if it's like really comfortable I've got loads of space and legroom and I've got you know for example I don't mind listening to a new album or reading something then I might take the train especially if it's more cost effective as well that that so. is where that's where I come from to me it comes <laughs> down to cost effective like in England sometimes it's cheaper to take the plane than That's to get on the I mean. train yeah. because sometimes sometimes the, the train you're like it took longer mm. and i'm paying so much money yeah. for this yeah like, yeah trust me nah. or uh, uh, and then sometimes you're trying to find the, the perfect train that is quite economical i once went um, from london to birmingham and i could only find and the cheapest train i um, found it stopped at about 25 different stations but i was like hey man i have to do what i got to do <laughs> oh, but cool yeah one, trains <laughs> over here are really really expensive but if i can find a train that i got good leg room that has got a plug that i can plug in my laptop watch some netflix yeah i'll go um i'll go for the train but it's the plane all the way man it's the plane yeah, i want to get there me. yeah to... just but... go to the airport have some breakfast chill out wait till they call you to the gate, go to the gate, get on. Hopefully, if there's no delays, mm. that will be annoying. But the train for me, man, I've done trips up to all the way to the edge of England and stuff, and it's a killer, absolute killer, man. I was like, you oh, know what? Instead of, tra train. instead of train or plane, sometimes I just prefer to ride a bicycle. It's quicker. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you don't ride no bike. <laughs> <laughs> but but in relation to the stand up, um, there's elements that I found really funny. But as RV said, because of the translations, I didn't catch all the punchlines. So I'm um, some, as I said, things were lost in translation. Mm. But he seemed to have the audience um, hanging on every single word. So hey, I'll check out more of his stuff to see if I can what he else he has to say but it was interesting maybe, and, maybe and part two will be funnier yeah i i, I just want to let you guys know about my experience from traveling from london to manchester it was to watch a manchester united game and let me tell you for those of you that don't know trains in the uk are a ripoff so mm -hmm. going back to what p was saying for something that's only three or four hours travel by car and it took two hours in that train I could have filled up my tank twice and just driven. It depends on what the traffic's like, if the weather's bad or or what, and if you're in a rush. But, yeah, if you've got the option, probably avoid the train if you can. You save a lot of money. The, the, so I think sometimes the train, like I was once going to Birmingham, 
And I jumped on the tube. I jumped on the tube to go to Houston. And that took about 50 minutes. Then I had to wait about 20 minutes, 30 minutes to, for my train and for it to move off. And then when I, um, from London to Birmingham, it was about just over two and a bit hours. So when you think about that, that was a good, like, we talk about nearly four hours by the time I got to the place. And then I thought, then another time, I just drove straight from my home and it took me less time. So sometimes the train, by the time you do all the different things and go back, it, it's worth either driving some places. Mm. So, Tra- <laughs> car, P, car. Yeah. P, like yeah. I said, when I used to travel all around the country, around Europe and stuff, one day... I had to go to a conference in Newcastle, right? Yeah. So imagine that I had to get up early in the morning, get ready, make my way to, it might have been Houston as well, actually, one of those stations anyway. And then it was a four-hour solid train journey. And I'm not talking about a train that stops. It was literally flying past a lot of the normal mm. stops. But Newcastle was all the way near, near Scotland, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So... And I remember at the time thinking like, yo... I could be in like North Africa in this time. <laughs> yeah. I literally could be in Egypt. <laughs> it was mad. And then, like you said, the prices as well. Um, actually, I've got a delayed um, refund on that one, which was good. Yeah, because I've got six. And the worst, have you ever been stuck on a train where the yeah, train has got, got. Yeah, that's why I got the refund. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stuck on the wrong. Oh, man. Man. Yeah. It's just like. And everyone's fighting to go to the... T- yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, that was our reaction to why trains are better than airplanes. But that's only for Rajua. That doesn't apply to us in England. I hope you liked our reaction. And do not forget to like, subscribe and share. And check us out on Patreon. And this was P, R, V and Sean. All the best. Peace. See you guys.